Assessing control risk is a crucial part of a certified internal auditor's CIA role, especially for those preparing for part two of the CIA exam. This concept involves understanding the risks related to internal controls within an organization. Understanding control risk control risk is the possibility that an organization's internal control system may fail to prevent or detect material misstatements in its financial reports. As a CIA, your job is to assess how high or low this risk is within an organization. Components of internal controls. Before assessing the risk, you need to understand the components of internal controls. These include the control environment, risk assessment processes, control activities, information and communication systems, and monitoring of controls. Identifying key controls. Focus on key controls that are critical for preventing or detecting errors and frauds in financial reporting. These can be anything from authorization procedures to physical safeguards of assets. Evaluating control design. Look at whether the controls are properly designed to address specific risks. This involves understanding the process flow and checking if the controls are aligned with the identified risks. Testing control effectiveness. This is where you perform tests to see if the controls are operating as intended. It might involve procedures like observation, re-performance, or inspection of documents. Considering external factors. External factors like regulatory changes or changes in the industry can impact control risk. Stay updated and consider how these changes might affect the internal control system. Communicating findings. After assessing control risk, communicate your findings effectively to management. This includes not just highlighting weaknesses, but also suggesting improvements. Continuous monitoring and updating control risk assessment is not a one-time activity. Continuously monitor the effectiveness of internal controls and update your assessment as necessary, especially when there are significant changes in the business or its environment. Documentation. Document your work thoroughly. This helps in providing evidence of your risk assessment process and supports the conclusions you draw. Remember, the key to excelling in Part 2 of the CIA exam and in your role as an internal auditor lies in a deep understanding of internal controls and how to assess their associated risks effectively. Keep learning and practicing, and you'll be well-equipped to tackle this aspect of the exam and your future career challenges.